guys, what's up? Welcome to Get Fit With Jess and welcome to today's 10 minute shoulder burnout. I'm so excited that you're here with me. Here's what we need for today's workout. I have a set of dumbbells, I have a heavier set and a lighter set and I have my mini band. Now the mini band is optional. Uh, we're gonna do one move with it at the very end and if you don't have a mini band or you don't like using those, I'm gonna show you another move to do. So grab kind of a medium uh, heavy weight to lighter weight and let's get right into this. Let's loosen up the shoulders real quick. So this is a 10 minute shoulder burnout, no repeats. So we will not repeat the same move today. One more here, now reverse that. Just roll it forward and back. So we're just gonna do a quick warm up here for the shoulders, get them loosened up. Good, all right, let's do a one arm swing. I don't know about you, but shoulders are one of my favorite muscles to work. Don't we want all want those sculpted shoulders, right? So this would be a great one if you just want a standalone shoulder workout or maybe you wanna add this as a little extra to the end of your next arm day. So if this is an area that you're really wanting to work and see some changes in, then definitely add this one in at least once a week, maybe twice a week. Good. All right, let's shake out those arms forward and back. Very good. All right, just open the chest here. You'll feel that in the front of the shoulders too. And then we're gonna bring that to the front. Think about spreading the shoulder blades and then we're gonna feel this in the upper back in the posterior deltoids, the back of the shoulder. So we're gonna work all areas, front, medial and posterior. Good, take one ear over to your shoulder Get that nice stretch here in the neck and the shoulder. Very good. Other side. Good, bring that up. Just roll it out again. Okay, are you ready to get into it? I'm ready. Shake it out here, maybe roll out your wrist. We're gonna start with some of our heavier power moves. So we're gonna start with a shoulder press. We're gonna do that for about 40 to 45 seconds. So grab weight that you think that you can challenge yourself, but be able to get through that full 45 seconds. All right, get ready. We go in three, two, one, let's go. So. You could do this from a seated position if you prefer, or just come up standing with me. Regardless, we wanna be standing up nice and tall and straight, or sitting up nice and tall and straight. Another thing to think about here, we don't wanna arch through the back, so we don't wanna get that booty pop going on, so tuck the hips under right here. Good, keep the wrist strong. Think about punching up towards the ceiling. Good, nice work. 10 more seconds. Very good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, next move, another power move, upright row. So we're gonna pretend like we're zipping up a jacket. We're gonna zip it down. Now, if you need to, you could alternate that out one arm at a time. We go in three, two, one, let's go. So elbows are gonna go up and out. Nice. Keeping the weights close to your body. Like I said, if you need to alternate it out one arm at a time, that is totally fine. This is your workout, just give it your best. We're all working those shoulders hard together today. 15 more seconds. Good, good, good. And if you start to get the little Elvis lip going on, just know that that's very normal. I probably will too. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay, now we're gonna hit the back of the shoulder now. So we're gonna hinge and do an alternating reverse fly. Now if you do have like lighter weights today and you wanna do um, both arms together, you can. Get ready. Let's go. So both arms together or one arm at a time. So I'm going a little bit heavier. That's why I'm gonna alternate mine out so I can keep that good form. Stomach is pulled in. Good. Think about wrapping the shoulder blade 
around your spine. 20 seconds. Great work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter for this one. We're gonna do an Arnold press. So we're gonna start with our palms facing in towards us, rotate out, press up, down, back around. Okay, now if the rotation of the shoulder does not feel good to you, just give me shoulder presses again. Let's go. So I know some people say, anytime we do any type of rotation through the shoulders, it just does not feel good to me. And if that's the case for you, it's totally fine. As I said, you can do um, shoulder presses just like we did for exercise one. Good, good, good. 15. Okay, I'm starting to feel the shoulder burn. What about you? Yes. Come on, give me one more rep. Awesome, okay. We're gonna get back into that hinge position. This time, we're gonna have the palms facing in towards us right here, so elbow comes out this time. Ready? Think I can do my heavier ones? Okay, let's go together. Drive that elbow back now. So almost like a 90 degrees at the elbow. So hitting the back of the shoulder again here. Good. If that's not challenging enough and you're alternating it, I need you to give me both arms now. Let's go. 20 more seconds. Control it, good control. Awesome, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, so I am probably done with my heavier weights now. We're really gonna be doing more toning moves, probably needing those lighter weights. We're gonna start with a side raise both arms together or alternate right, left. Ready? Let's go. So slide bend in the elbow on these. So we don't want those arms to be completely locked out. Little bend, soft elbows. Again, if this is getting too challenging, alternate it out. Give one arm a break while you're working the other. Something to think about through a lot of the moves that we're getting ready to do. We wanna think about coming out and then up. So we're not shrugging up. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. You got it. 10 more seconds. Lifting up to right about shoulder height. No need to go higher than that. Three, two, one. Good, okay, we're gonna do the same move basically. Think about the same things that we just talked about. We're gonna lift that to the front now. So right here. Get ready, we go in three, two, one, both arms together or alternate. Lift out and up, good. Controlling up and down, nice. Keep that good posture, I know you're doing great. Twenty more seconds. Move at your own pace. I know, it's starting to get tough now. I feel it too. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna drop that for a second. You do the same. Maybe shake it out, roll it out. We're going back to the side now, but now we're gonna do a bent elbow side raise. So 90 degrees at the elbow, keep your wrist and elbow together. So it shouldn't look like this. It should look like this when we're out to the sides. Let's go. So one arm at a time or both arms together. Good, keep that 90 degree angle. Very good. 
20 more seconds. You guys, we are so close. We just have two moves after this. Hang in here with me. Good, good. Almost five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, now we're gonna do a diagonal raise. I want you to think thumbs up towards the ceiling. So we're not coming straight up to the front. We're not going straight out to the side, but right there in the middle. You can alternate right, left if you need to. Let's go. So get those thumbs up. Nice. So if you're doing both arms together, I call that a V raise. So good, come on, we have 20 more seconds here. One more move after this one. Keep working hard, keep giving it your best. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so if you have the mini band, grab it. If not, you're gonna give me arm circles, okay? You're gonna do 30 seconds forward, 30 seconds reverse. If you wanna hold on to two to five pound dumbbells, you can. If you have the mini band, we're gonna go out. We're gonna pulse out for five. We're gonna pull in for five, and then we're gonna pull down for five. We're all going for one minute. This is it, and we're done. Ready, set, let's go. So arm circles, or you're using the band. Like I said, I will tell you when you're halfway on the arm circle so you can reverse. Let's all just try to keep these arms up for one minute, finish strong. Good, so you're doing five of each move here if you have the band. Oh my goodness, yes, tons of burn. I know, either move that we're doing, we're feeling the burn. Okay, that is halfway. Maybe you need to walk around your room, side touch, whatever you have to do to get through this burn. We just have 15 seconds left. Come on, hold them up, hold them up. Do not drop. Strong shoulders. Five, four, three, two. I'm gonna finish this and time. Wow, right? Oh, hello shoulders, shake it out. Such a great job today. I hope that you love this one. Like I said, this is an excellent one to add in at the end of your workout for a little bit more shoulder work. So if you like this, be sure to like it. Let me know in the comments when you get it done. As always, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you get these new workouts that come out. And if you love this and you want more workouts like this, make sure that you check out all the programs that I have going on in the Get Fit With Jess community. I'll link that in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.